What's up guys, it's Dubs here and welcome back to another tutorial. So I'm, I'm kind of like spitting these tutorials out nowadays, but anyway, <laughs> um, I wanted to do an updated tutorial of my Gran Turismo 5 drag settings uh, tutorial that I uploaded back in, I don't know when, but um, it was like a really long time ago and uh, those settings actually really, really sucked uh, if I look back on them right now. Um, also, I got the new speed test track, which is a special stage route X. Um, the only way to get this is if you buy it off the PlayStation Store. Um, I somehow got this for free. I didn't go on like game share with anybody. I literally just went into my uh, downloadable contents folder and it was there. So I just went and literally just downloaded it. So I got this for free somehow. Maybe you guys can check. Maybe you guys have it for free as well. Uh, but I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm back here with my Scarlet GTR V Spec 2. Um, now, a few things before we get off into into uh, anything, just so I can show you guys the best settings. Um, my car only goes up to 797 brake horsepower. Uh, some of your cars may go up to 810 or 811. I don't know how what the limit is for, for somebody else, but for some reason, my cars are just not as fast as your cars in brake horsepower uh, kind of standard. Um, you can't tell me to boost it up even more for doing like more races to break in the engine or else to uh, change the oil or whatever. I've already done all of that on this car and it just doesn't go up. And uh, it's the same with every single other car. My friend um, has the exact same game and he did the exact same settings as me on uh, on his cars and he can get up to 810 horsepower and I can't. And it's, it's just my game that is like that. And uh, I know it's, it sucks, but whatever. You can use the same settings as me. But anyway, for the tires, you have uh, you need to have uh, racing soft tires. That's that's the only thing uh, here that's kind of important. Brakes, it's they're unimportant. Now for suspension, what I noticed is this: everything here should be on zero. Everything. Uh, then here you need the right height at the back to be on 40, and the front to be on 25. Then you need the suspension to be as loose as possible to prevent uh, any sort of uh, restriction on the wheel. So basically, when you start off off the line, you're going to have your car wheel spinning as much as possible to try and get a little bit of grip. Uh, and then with the suspension, you're going to try to make it a little bit easier for the car. So you have, uh, you know, the, the whole weight of the car going down as 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 it uh, it takes off the line. And it goes down on the wheels, meaning it gives, it gives like a little bit more force on the wheels, making them to basically grip the ground a little bit better. And um, that's why you need the loose suspension. So hopefully you guys took that down. Okay, let's go into drivetrain because that's another important thing. Now, what I've noticed is from doing a bunch of these laps, um, the customizable LSD, you're going to need the initial torque to be on 5 because that's when you want the the LSD to kick in. And uh, then you have the acceleration sensitivity should be on 60, and then the braking sensitivity is not important. Now, if we go on to torque distribution, um, I've tried it with every single bit setting here and the best the one that I got the best results on was 50 50 so um, if you have different settings for your drag racing cars good for you don't bother trying to start a war in the comments It's just not going to work because I'm just gonna remove your comments but anyway um, this is the best uh, for for my car that I've that I've tried and 50 50 for the torque distribution should be should be the best for you now if you want to do quarter mile drag racing which is basically the the one that uh, everybody probably already does, um, and you're going to need the six-speed closed ratio transmission. You can do it with your fully customizable. You can try and change them to, to the way you like, but uh, if you are lazy like me, you can just use the six-speed closed transmission, and uh, uh, basically you can uh, you can get uh, the best shifts when you're, when you're, you know, obviously shifting. <laughs> but anyway, um, so for the turbochargers, obviously you have to buy the high RPM one, because you're always going to stay in the high revs. Uh, this, you need to buy the sports manifold, catalytic converter for, uh, well, the sports catalytic converter, and then you have the racing exhaust. Well, basically, the, the most expensive and most, uh, the one that gives you the most, uh, the most horsepower, you're going to need to, to get. And the engine, you need to tune at the, uh, stage three, so you're going to have to buy stage one and stage two before you buy stage three, and then buy the sports ECU. And everything should be perfect. Now, if you go into body and chassis, uh, if we go on to aerodynamics, you're basically just not going to need them at all. So put them on eight. Any sort of aerodynamics on the car will push the car down and restricting it from going faster. Simple. Uh, bait, ballast, ballast and weight. You can try and 
actually no, don't don't even bother. Don't put any weight on it. More weight means slower, so just don't even bother. And that's literally it. You, <laughs> this was so easy. I don't know why I just didn't do this before. It's because I was a kid and I didn't know better. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's go on the track and I'll show you. If, well, this is my last time that I just got. It was a 9.52 one. And uh, I know that people can get up to 9 seconds in... Um, Nine nine point three seconds. I've seen people get up to, and that's because their car, as I said, has like almost twenty more horsepower than me. So that is a huge, huge difference if if you think about it. But I can't get mine to go any higher than that. And uh, I every time I go on this, like every single um like every single time you go out on the track and you try to do a a race, like to, or you're testing out your car like this. You have to uh, keep in mind that every single run is different. As you can see, I messed up the shifting at the start, so I'm uh, like my last run is now faster than this. As you can see, and I'm just gonna exit because I'm not gonna bother going the full mile because my car uh, limits at what is it, 160, 171 uh, miles an hour. So yeah. I can just quit and go back and start it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you please leave it a li leave it. Please leave it a like because it does help out uh, my channel and it also helps out uh, my video get noticed on, on the YouTubes. So I'll do one more run, which I'll, I'll most likely fail again because, as I just said, I'm going to fail it. <laughs> 4.59 seconds, 100 miles and 9.6 seconds. Okay, that was bad. That was, that was just bad. <laughs> Okay, this is with four wheel drives. I can also show you guys if you want to see a um a tutorial for a rear wheel drive car. Maybe I can put that up as well. I have a few tips on that to give you guys if you are interested. Nine point five three one. I'm slightly slower as you can see. I left I was actually faster if I did that. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you guys soon.